With the latest from News 4 Jax, I'm Mary Baer. Hours after a Kentucky grand jury brought no charges against Louisville police for Breonna Taylor's death and protesters took to the streets, authorities said two officers were shot and wounded tonight during demonstrations over the killings of black people at the hands of police. The interim police chief said a suspect was in custody but did not say whether the person was participating in the demonstrations. He says both officers that were expected to recover, one was undergoing surgery late tonight. Hours earlier, the city of Louisville and the police department had declared states of emergency. Stores and restaurants had boarded up and some federal buildings had closed for the week. Demonstrations at other cities around the nation also continued late into the night. A person of interest is in custody after a Duval County school bus was hit by a projectile today. There are no reports of any injuries. Jacksonville police were called to Villanova Road near Broward Road at around 4.30 this afternoon. Twelve students were on the bus at the time along with the driver. The bus had recently left Highlands Middle School. Investigators say the bus was hit by a BB pellet shattering one of the windows. And happening tomorrow, President Trump, he will be here in Jacksonville, his first, his first visit, that is, to our area for his re-election campaign. He will host what's being called the Great American Comeback event tomorrow evening at 7. It will be at Cecil Airport. News for Jax will have a crew there, and we'll be sure to bring you the president's remarks live on air and on newsforjax.com. Always the latest news online at newsforjax.com. Thank <laughs> you.